15 to take up today. Symphonies are rather cold, and as you can see out there, when it's snowing now. Once that's happened, you'll notice that the forward trim is uh, set down slightly, and we just want that uh, section to be in the green band. So uh, just press down on the thing. This is actually a full thing if you can uh, pull back up and down on your um, elevator. You'll notice that moves around. But we want the center position to be sticking roughly in the green band there. Just going to test the uh, autopilot. Autopilot is now engaged as you can see by these two. And you just want to check that your autopilot disengage switch works. In this case it does. You're going to set the two channels down as well for the takeoff. Finally, here's the altimeters. Uh, it's currently set in meters, and as you can see, it's not set correctly to the QE, which it now is 985, and uh, to zero feet on that one, which I'll be 739. You can switch this button up here to feet if you're using feet. Here's the zero feet and the color changes to kind of yellow. Up here we have the uh, preset altitude, uh, 6,000 feet in this case, and when you switch to the meters it'll actually maintain the meters that you think. So 6,000 feet being 1,800 meters. Today we'll be flying, uh, maintaining the departure up to 3,600 meters. And then uh, we'll be uh, climbing onwards to the cruise altitude, which is uh, 10,100 meters. And we're closing the up position. We can now turn the landing lights on. Turning them down to this position. We'll turn them on weekly with a slightly green haze, which is good for taxi, and full strength up the top for um, landing. So for the moment, the taxi will leave them in the bottom position, and that in that position. Once aligned with the runway, close the cap for the uh, wheel steering. Confirm that your GPS is set to the first to second waypoint. Your uh, takeoff configuration warning light is out and you're ready to go. Right way up, wait for the engine to respond as it's going and smoothly advance the throttles all the way to the top. Engine rate climbing and steady. Take up power. And that is and uh, steer yourself down the runway. Yeah, nice slightly more, uh, yeah. rather travel for steering so now that you've got the cap, cap closed. As you come up to your rotation speed, smoothly rotate. And so it's coming along. Not to see the uh, angle of attack there, and you'll want your gear to come up. Down yeah. handily. About 15 degrees nose up is about the maximum we can manage. Uh, reduce the nose pitch a little while. Down here you'll want to engage HBY to follow your uh, navigation, and follow the middle centre of the uh, flight director there, just like that. You'll notice that the uh, vertical doesn't actually run, and that actually won't run without the ILS being engaged on climb approach. That's uh, normal for the two All those uh, ones that you hear are uh, your um, outer markers and similar things. You actually can't turn them off from the two Over here you'll uh, be following your um, GPS using this flight director and you'll just guide that around until you uh, get to your location. You can see that we're increasing speed slightly now, I can pull up the flap. 
You see that coming up now. As the speed increases, you can increase your pitch to maintain that speed. And once that is done, you can uh, turn on your auto products. Push down here. I'm pressing V for velocity, call and maintain my velocity. There we've already got the HBY set, so it's already uh, slowed to the GPS position up here. As you can see, it's now going from uh, fix 7 to 8, no on top of 8, and it'll uh, switch over to 9 soon. You can zoom in your range using the cursor button up there, and now scroll around here to zoom in or out as you wish. Once the landing gear is up and clear, you can uh, press the G key again and the landing gear handle will go to the centre position, which will uh, remove the hydraulics from your landing gear. Continuing to uh, fly around using the um, flight director as your lateral gun, but not the vertical. Or you can use the auto part as I am at this stage. But there was the uh, I'll send that showing that I've got less than 100 feet to go, 100 metres on me. I'm going to assume that we're now uh, cleared to 10,100 metres. As you saw there, it passed straight through the altitude without actually stopping. It will actually beep at you, but not actually stop the altitude. So you will actually need to use a H button there as you approach your altitude to maintain altitude. There's just a few little rundown on the uh, altitude showing on the other part. We've got a few buttons here, 3K, what looks like 3K. There is uh, to maintain the heading and select it. In this case, it'll make us still 180 degree turn around to that point. And you can uh, change that using this uh, scroll wheel there. And that's in our direction. So if we were to press that button, 3K, we'd now find the heading instead of the flight director. Down here we have uh, VOR1 and VOR2 buttons, you can uh, follow a radio on one or two. But there is the maintain low wings level, unless you use this button, well, and uh, you can swing that around left and right using these keys, and that will actually uh, select an angle of bank in one direction, so that's 10 degrees, 20 degrees, that's about 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. Something like that. When you press the middle of that button, it'll come to the middle. You'll notice that when this is engaged in a turn, you won't be able to deselect that button. Also, that is just the wing leveler when it's unselected and can be selected to any other mode. We'll have a look here. We've got uh, two waypoints of the same. We do need to do something about this. I'm going to use the clear button right there. Hit enter once when it says delete question mark. And there it goes. So now you no longer have a duplicate entry and uh, fine to continue along. If you do have a duplicate entry, the GPS will sometimes try to double back to fly the waypoint again so you'll end up with a bit of a holding pattern, which is an issue when you're not clear for such. Here you can see that we're approaching the altitude selected. I've just pulled back on the throttle a bit and you can see my. Um, Vertical speed coming down. We come down here, once we've hit the altitude, and hit the H button. That will select altitude hold mode, and hold the altitude that we're already uh, sit, sitting on. As you can see, I've overshot by about 15 metres. Can happen. So what I'll do here, is um, just push down a little bit, on this one, the minus key. That will reduce your pitch angle will touch to reduce your rate of climb. So we hit 100 metres, about there, gotta hit the H again. Check that we're 10,100 metres as shown, and that level pitch. And maintaining altitude. Here we are sitting at about Mac decimal 86. Want to maintain that speed now, so I come over to this system over here and uh, hit the C. 
that will maintain the position that is uh, selected on the web. Using this up and down module up here, you can uh, move the red tag up and down, that, is shown. that will select a certain speed for the auto throttle to hold.